I'm Steve Backlitz, biologist for the National Park Service at Big South Fork. And we're here at Station Camp Crossing to demonstrate new technology that we're using to track mussels. And this is the instrument called the reader. And it picks up the signal from the pit tag, the passively induced transmitter. When, it, when that tag is passed through it, it, uh, it, it recognizes the, uh, the individual uh, number that uh, is associated with the tag. These are the mussels that we're going to, that we uh, plant in the river, and we've glued the pit tags on, and we're going to put them right in and uh, see if we can keep track of them, see how the glue performs. My name is Steve Allstead. I'm a retired uh, biologist. Uh, I used to work for the U.S. Geological Survey, and uh, we're up here today uh, reintroducing mussels from the Cumberland River back into the Big South Fork. Uh, this is a major effort at restoring the fauna uh, into the Big South Fork. Historically, it had approximately about, a, about 55 species of mussels, and uh, conditions seem pretty good right now for uh, this process of trying to restore the fauna back in the river. It's, uh, it's a joint effort between the Nature Conservancy, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and the National Park Service. So we're very fortunate that we have the, uh, a place where we can put some of these mussels. Over time, a lot of these streams have gone downhill and we're left with very few choices where to put some of this fauna. So Big South Fork has the best fauna that's left in, in just about all of the Cumberland River system. And when you consider that, you're talking hundreds if not thousands of miles of streams. So. And we're mostly interested in the Cumberlandian endemics, but we're also interested in some of the common species that were here historically, and, and that's what we're putting back today. So we moved uh, close to about 500, maybe 600 mussels into the river today. And a week ago, we moved about 600 at another location. So we'll monitor these populations over time, and hopefully we'll see some mussel reproduction and recruitment. Mussels being the ultimate indicators of your water quality, uh, they're very important for us as humans simply because they monitor the water and the end product is humans drink this water as well as all the animals that live along it. So uh, mussels just tell us a story that when you see them dead or dying or they're no longer present in the stream, more than likely there was some kind of event that happened that caused them to be wiped out.